Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very tasty paneer masala recipe. Uh, this is very tasty and it's good for rotis, parathas and Indian breads. Hope you will like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for further notifications. First I'm taking here a pan with 2 teaspoons of oil and I'm going to toss the diced uh, capsicum and diced onions I have taken here, I have cut into small cubes and we need to fry this for uh, just 2-3 to three minutes till the onions and capsicums change the color and if it is done like that it will be very tasty in the gravy now it's almost done I am going to take this separate and keep it away And here I have taken paneer cubes, I have cut into small cubes and I am adding half teaspoon of salt, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of red chilli powder and I am going to mix this all together. Don't mix it too hardly then it will uh, become into pieces the paneer. Just toss it and uh, in the same pan I am taking 1 teaspoon of oil and I am going to fry these paneer for 2 minutes that's enough not more than that so that the, all the spices will get uh, mixed into the paneer and it will be very good so now it's almost done now in the same pan I have taken again uh, 2 teaspoon of oil in this adding uh, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds 3 red chilies sorry green chilies and little bit of kasuri methi the dry fenugreek and uh, one teaspoon of kashmiri chili powder we need to fry this just for a few seconds and i'm adding uh, two onions paste two medium sized onion i've taken into paste and we need to fry this for another two minutes Now I am adding half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste in this. Now the onion paste is also nicely done. And we need to fry the ginger garlic paste till the raw smell goes. And I am adding all the dry spices. Half a teaspoon of uh, garam masala and one teaspoon of coriander powder. When you add the spices in the starting, uh, it will give a nice flavor. When the um, dry spices uh, fry well and here I'm adding two uh, big size tomatoes paste tomato puree I'm adding in this and we need to cook both together for another five to ten minutes till the, all the raw smell goes and you can see here the oil is also separating from the tomato paste and uh, here it is the cashew nut paste this is uh, 10 cashews which I have soaked in water for uh, half an hour and I have made it to paste. We need to fry this for another 10 minutes. Close the lid and uh, let it cook for 10 minutes. You know, it's almost done. The gravy for another 5 minutes it's over. I'm, uh, in this stage I'm adding red chilli powder again and check all the spices and add according to your taste all the spices whichever needed if it is too dry you can add little water also for the gravy and now this is almost done and now it's time to add the onion capsicum and the paneer which we have fried already and let this cook for another 5 minutes till the gravy absorbs all the vegetables and everything now it is almost done now we are garnishing with the coriander leaves now the paneer gravy is ready to serve 